Hello everyone. Welcome to Digital Communication Tutorials. In this video, I am going to provide a brief introduction to MRE modulation techniques. At the very first, I would like to discuss how MRE signals are generated. For this, I am going to take examples of previously discussed signaling schemes such as binary and quaternary signaling schemes. To start with, in a binary signaling scheme, we will send 1 of 2 power 1 which is equals to 2 possible signals. Let them be represented by S1 of T and S2 of T. And this is done during each signaling interval of duration capital T equals to 1 TB. You should note the power of 2 here will be the value of the integer here. So, if it is binary signaling scheme, we will have 2 power 1 equals to 2 possible signals and each signal will have a duration of 1 TB. Coming to the quaternary signaling scheme, here since there are 4 input signals, we will send 1 of 2 power 2 which is 4 possible signals. Let them be denoted as S1 of T, S2 of T, S3 of T and S4 of T. And this is done during each signaling interval of duration capital T equals to 2 TB. Please note, since we are talking about quaternary signaling scheme, the power of 2 here will be the length of each symbol. So, each symbol is of 2 bits length. Therefore, the duration of the symbol is 2 TB. In a very similar fashion, when I go for octal signaling scheme, we will send 1 of 2 power 3 equals to 8 possible signals. Let them be denoted by S1 of T through S8 of T. And this is done during each signaling interval. That is, 1 of 8 possible signals is transmitted during each signaling interval, which itself is given by capital T equals to 3 TB. So, in octal signaling scheme, each symbol is of length 3 bits and therefore the symbol duration is 3 times the bit duration. Now, having this as the foundation, we can now start the discussion on MRE signaling schemes. So, in an MRE signaling scheme, we will send 1 of 2 power n equals to capital M possible signals and let them be denoted by S1 of T through SM of T. And one of the M possible signals is transmitted during each signaling interval. And this signaling interval is given by capital T equals to NTP. Very carefully, if you note, we have totally M possible signals and hence the name MRE signaling scheme. And the length of each symbol in MRE signaling scheme is equals to N. So, capital T which represents the symbol duration is equals to N TB. Now, from this definition we can estimate the total number of possible signals is capital M which is equals to 2 power N and N is to be an integer. Also, each symbol is of duration capital T equals to N TB where TB is the bit duration. Let us now talk about modulation techniques that involve MRE signaling schemes. In fact, just like what we have done in binary ASK, FSK, PSK, it is possible to perform MRE, ASK, FSK, PSK as well. For example, in binary ASK, we had two different amplitude levels. In binary PSK, we had two different phase levels and binary FSK, we had two different carrier frequencies. If I extend this binary principle to MRE, then I can have MRE ASK, MRE PSK and MRE FSK respectively. Particularly, you should note, in one of my previous video, I had discussed QPSK which is one of the quadrature modulation techniques and in QPSK, as we know, the number of input symbols is 4. So, QPSK can be thought of as an example of M array PSK with M equals to 4. So, when you look at these definitions what we have gained here, these are very straightforward modulation techniques. That is, in MRE ASK, we will have only amplitude modulation involved. In MRE PSK, we will only have phase modulation involved. And in MRE FSK, we will only have frequency modulation involved. Another way of generating MRE signals is to combine different methods of modulation techniques to create a hybrid form. 
For example, we may combine discrete changes in both the amplitude as well as the phase of the carrier signal to produce MRE amplitude phase keying technique. A special form of this MRE APK is called as MRE QAM. QAM stands for Quadrature Amplitude Modulation and this has some very interesting properties. I will discuss this technique in one of my next videos. Now, if you are wondering what is the necessity of MRE modulation techniques when we already have binary modulation techniques, then the answer is the bandwidth conservation. MRE signaling schemes are preferred over binary signaling schemes for transmitting particularly digital information over bandpass channels when the requirement is to conserve the bandwidth at the expense of increased power. The important thing to note here is MRE modulation techniques will tend to save the bandwidth but this bandwidth conservation is achieved only at the expense of increased power. In practice, we quite often don't find the communication channel that has the exact bandwidth requirement for transmitting the output of an information source by means of any binary signaling schemes. Therefore, when the bandwidth of a channel is less than the required value, then we may use MRE signaling scheme so as to utilize the channel efficiently. This is illustrated in the slide here. Let us start by considering the transmission of information consisting of a binary sequence with a bit duration of 1 TB seconds. If we were to transmit this binary sequence by means of binary PSK, for example, then we may require a bandwidth that is inversely proportional to the bit duration TB. So, in binary PSK, bandwidth is inversely proportional to bit duration TB. However, if we take blocks of bits as what we use in MRE PSK scheme with each block of length n and the number of total such blocks being capital M and each block is of duration n TB, then the bandwidth requirement by the use of MRE PSK will now be proportional to 1 divided by n TB. Now, if you compare the RHS of these two equations, quite obviously we can understand that MRE PSK reduces the bandwidth requirement by a factor of n compared to binary PSK. Though we have illustrated this property for PSK techniques, it is possible to extend this principle for other modulation techniques as well. Right, that is about a brief introduction to MRE modulation techniques. In my next video, I will start discussion on MRE phase shift keying technique. If you like this video, kindly press that like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos on digital communication. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.